Hey everyone, welcome back to my Crash Bandicoot 3 105% run through and uh, this is part 7 and uh, in this part we're going to be dealing with all of the coloured gems in the game and uh, all of the corresponding clear gems that you can get by getting the coloured gems first. So um, why have I gone into level 1? Well, before I started getting the coloured gems I thought I'd pick up a couple of masks to kind of um, make it a bigger margin for error. So. Um, when, when you go and do the time trial here, you can just pick up a couple of masks along the way and uh, yeah, that'll make it easier so you'll have less chance of dying while you're trying to get the gems. So yeah, it's just me doing a quick um, time trial of level 1. It's kind of a preview into the next video that's going to come after this, which will be the final video in the series, which is going to be hopefully all 32 of the levels with the platinum relics. I don't think I've ever done it before, so um, it might take a while for me to upload it, but I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, level 1 Platinum is extremely simple. This this one that you're watching here was a, was a Platinum run, but there's nothing to say really, you just sprint the whole way through. And yeah. So I've picked up a couple of masks as well now, so now I can begin. And uh, I'm going to start with level 12, which is the... Uh, red gem in uh, under pressure. Yeah, this one's uh, it's not too hard to get, as as you'll see. And obviously, you're going to be able to get the clear gem by getting the the red gem as well. So it's going to be a two in one here. Just be careful at the beginning to make sure you don't accidentally trigger the the time trial. Obviously, while you're on the the thing, it's it's, it's very easy. Just um, just constantly just shoot everything. Obviously, you don't want to miss any of the any of the boxes that are guarded by the coral. Otherwise, you're going to have to start the level again. Obviously, keep keep right here after you pass that bomb. I mean most most of this level's pretty easy. There's maybe one or two bits that, that require a little bit of attention but other than that I mean it's no it's no problem really. And basically, if you go right here instead of going upwards, then you go towards the red gem area. So we need to get to the end of the level first to to get the exclamation mark box. That's gonna that's gonna bring up the TNT, so we can make it through to the red gem. So continue the level as you normally do first, and don't get caught by that. And uh, obviously, remembering all of the the boxes inside the coral as well. Um, I made a I made a slight mistake at the end. I, I kept on going towards the the warp room thing, so I accidentally lost the the thing that I'm riding. So don't do that. Make sure you shoot the exclamation box from far away, so you can just quickly go back on the on the buggy. You see, look here. I I shouldn't have lost that, but it's it's not a big deal. But yeah, as you can see there, the, the mask that I got in level 1 came in handy, so I, wouldn't, I didn't have to restart the level. But I didn't want to show myself dying too many times, because that basically wastes your time. So. And here we are, just stick right, and just touch the TNT to, to trigger it, and um, once that's blown up, you gain, you gain access to the, to the red gem area. This little bit here, just be careful that not to touch these as they're inflated. 
and this this section as well just um just take your time here just um go slowly so so you don't touch anything but i mean that's that's most of the difficult stuff done this one you just go straight through but make sure you check back after all the boxes blow up because usually there's one there that doesn't blow up you don't want to miss that these ones just wait until the first one stops and then you can just go through and that's about it that's that's level 12 under pressure and uh, that's the red gem and the, the clear gem that you can get I'm gonna get the um, the clear gems first um, not the clear gems the colored gems first and then I'm gonna go to the um, the levels where you gain the platform so you can get the other clear gems so next up is level 13 and here we're gonna get the, the purple gem so you can uh, you can ignore the boxes because we've already got the clear gem and just all you have to do is just make sure you don't die until you get to the platform that's gonna, that's gonna take you ahead Yeah, the time trial of this is, is pretty annoying. While I was trying to get the, the 25 relics so I could unlock all the extra levels. The time trial here, I kept trying to get the platinum the first time. And uh, really frustrating, especially this this, ne this next section here was pretty annoying. But I don't need to go up there, so I can just go on the platform and continue. Again, I mean for oh yeah, I'm gonna skip ahead to to what you just saw there was just the way I died the first time I attempted that, which was a bit stupid. I don't know why I died like that. I kind of missed the the map, which is a bit silly. But yeah, this is the the actual time I got it. And once you make this here, then you're pretty much halfway there. Well, more than halfway, because there we go, it's right there. That's the purple gem, straight back to the walk room to continue. Yeah, the first two levels and I've, and I've lost both mods already, so it kind of shows how much I needed them. And on to Tomb Raider level 20 to, to get the blue gem. Again, Tomb Raider is another one of my favourite levels. It's a nice concept. The time trial is quite fun here as well. Once you can do the um, the extended spin, you can you can pretty much um, get through these watery parts like in one go, or just go halfway and then just jump the rest of the way, ignoring where the water is. So that's that's always helpful. So like here, for example, you can just sort of make most of your way there. This one's a little too far, so it's better to wait, I guess. Because I spent so much time um, time trying this level, I completely forget about the, the fruit launcher that I have. I mean, if I were you, I'd, I would use it more often to clear the obstacles beforehand. Especially in the, in the gem section. For example, you could have shot these boxes beforehand, probably, to reduce the chance of you making a mistake. And these guys here as well, you can probably shoot them. But I just prefer to just jump straight over them. Again, here, those um, those things that come out of the wall, they give you a little safety barrier. You can land on those as you're going across and stay above the water. 
just time this so you get the maximum amount of, of time in the water before it comes back up again. I kind of ma made a mess of this this bit. I'm, I was supposed to land on top of the on top of the thing, but I mistimed it, so I almost got stuck. But I made it through. And this is pretty much the end, right here. And that's the blue gem. So, as you can see, I mean, once once you know what you're doing, what the hell is that? It, it, it doesn't take very long. Obviously, um, the yellow gem on Hang'em High is, if you're looking for that, it's on the it's on the previous video because that's you have to complete level 27, and in order to complete the level, you get the gem anyway. So there's no point of me showing the same thing twice. Um, yeah, I was just making sure that this was the final one. I just need to get the the green gem here from level 23, Flaming Passion. Very similar to to level 13. A few more, a few more obstacles maybe. Again, I, I spend a lot of time speed running this level, so I kind of, I kind of rush through. So I, I remember where a lot of the, the stuff is. I mean, you, you'd probably want to be more careful in these sections, but like I said, I, I probably tried to time trial this maybe 20, 30 times. So I kind of I know the level pretty well now. Yeah, again, uh, this section in the time trial is a real, real pain. Keep getting stuck on these on these trampolines and with the flames and everything. It does become a bit annoying. But there's the platform. Yeah, I made I made a couple of mistakes here. I think if I remember correctly. This bit was fine, but I think I made a, a silly error here. Yeah, this bit. I didn't. I didn't spot the um, the the thing that he threw to to set the thing on fire. So I thought it was going to go out quicker than it did. So I kind of died for no reason. Here I was just being an idiot. Yeah, there's no excuse for that. But I think that was the last time. That was annoying me. And yeah, I can just jump straight over these. For this, I mean, you just have to just time it, make sure you know when the next one's coming. And there's the final coloured gem. I don't know if you can just. Um, if you can just die and still keep the gem or whether you have to complete the level. But to be safe, I, I complete the level anyway. And I nearly died there. Just take them out, yeah. But yeah, now that I've um, I've got all the colored gems, now I'm gonna go back to the, to the previous levels and uh, go on those platforms, those new platforms that I can go onto now and get the rest of the, the clear gems that I'm missing. And once I've done that, then I should end up with 99%. And all that remains is the, the platinum relics, or just the relics themselves from um, the secret levels that I did in the last last part. So yeah, gonna begin with uh, level four. That's the first one, Boneyard, I think. Yeah, uh, for this one, Obviously, I've got all the boxes already, so you, all you need to do is just get to the end of the, the platform. Obviously, this one of the earlier levels, and I played it a fair few times, so I kind of remember remember the route. But um, I struggled a lot on the 
on the chasers in the in the platform sections because um, like I said I hadn't practiced them very much so I didn't know what was coming up while I was running so I kept running into stuff but I'll, you, you'll see that later on in the video and there it is, the, the red platform Yeah, so um, you're going to see me die a few times in, in this section until I actually learn learn what's coming up next. Here's a few of the, this is the first time I actually got it right. I died a few times previous to recording this particular one. But I edited them out because there's no point in you really watching them. I just run into stuff. And um, from, from what I've noticed, whether you, you hold the sprint button down or not doesn't really make a difference to how far behind the dinosaur is. It's kind of his speed is relative to yours, so as long as you don't spend too much time still, standing still, you should be okay. Again, I died a few times, so I skipped ahead. This was the time where I, I got it right. Or was it? I might have died on this one, but I might, might have wanted to show you guys. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend sprinting, there is really no point. Yeah, this is the time I, I got it right. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's uh, that's the clear gem for Boneyard. Not too bad for the for the chase section. You just need to practice it a few times. You'll you'll probably die, but it's fine. By this stage of the game, you have enough lives anyway to to sacrifice a few to learn it. As you can see, I went down quite a few lives there. I'm just trying to remember which level it was here. I think this is the, the one that the purple gem allows you to get the clear gem from. But this one I'm going to have to make sure I get all the boxes as well, of course. Again, this is another level that, that I have a fair bit of practice in, so I'm not too bad at this one. making sure they all blow up. Nice easy bonus round. Yeah for this um for this one you're gonna have to do a little bit of um backtracking. To, to get the boxes in between the the kind of the purple gem section and the um, normal section of the level, so I'm I'm nearly there. Uh, this mask is going to be might be pretty useful, so I I would recommend that you don't lose it. So that's why I kind of shot that guy from far away to make sure there wasn't no mistakes. So here's the fork in the road, obviously we go left and now that we have the purple gem we can get through and um, basically just get make it through to the end of this section. Some people like to uh, continue on the right hand side, go forward, get all of the boxes and then come back and do this again, but um, I prefer to, to do this and then come back along this route. It's up to you how, how you want to do it. But as you can see, the section is pretty short. And once you get those uh, three boxes there, that's the end. You can you can turn back and head back towards um, the fork in the road. If you go right down here, then there's going to be a point where you're not going to be able to get the boxes anymore because the jump's going to be too big. 
so I prefer to come back this way. It's, it's, it's not easy, but um, again, as, as long as you practice and you take things slowly, make sure you know what's ahead, you probably won't die. It's the jumps that are more risky. But if you hold down the um, sprint button and jump, he'll, he'll jump further and he'll be less likely to fall in between the gaps. Oof, just avoided that there. So yeah, and we're back to the, to the fork in the road, so now we can just continue the level normally. I mean, I've seen videos where some people, they do this bit first, up until a point, and then they turn back go along that route. So they get those two boxes over there that you just saw and then they turn back. But when you do that you get to the end of the level and then you have to backtrack again up until the other side of this gap here. You're gonna have to backtrack again up until these boxes so you're kind of backtracking twice. So I don't really I don't really see the point. See no no need to waste time just just shoot these. Shoot him as well, just to be safe. No, the, the fruit goes through the, the blocks that he sends. It's useful. And yeah, that's basically it. Just um, the final run. And there's all 95 boxes. So that's another couple of clear gems to add to the collection. Is uh, dynamite, where I think it's the, the yellow gem path that we're going to be taking here. And once again, we need to get all the boxes, so this is another level that requires some backtracking. As you might have been able to tell, there isn't a, a life up there, so you can see that I've tried this level before, and uh, I failed a few times in the in the gem section, so. I decided to go back, get myself a couple of masks and try again. So I wanted to make it through in one go without dying, so... Yeah, we've got the usual spinning things again. It's just pointless. Again, the, the main problem in this section is the chase. If you haven't, um, if you haven't done it before, or you haven't done it for a long time, you don't remember the, the path, then you're going to die a few times while you figure it out. And that's what happened to me the first time. So I decided to go back and do it again, and give myself a extra breathing space by having the, the two masks as well. You can just jump over these guys. I would shoot that TNT from far away rather than trying to slam because unless you do it in the right place you're going to kill yourself when it blows up so be careful. Yeah because I only needed to do the first part of this chase when I was um, getting to level 32. I didn't know what, what, was, what was there for the rest of it so um, I'm going to die a few times I think. Oh no wait, no this is the run where I didn't die actually. Yeah, that, that section killed me a few times without the masks. But yeah, it's, it's, it, that's it. I mean, it's quite a short, it's quite a short chase. That's the plus side. And it's going to take you back. It, it's a bit annoying that it doesn't take you back to to where you originally left from. It takes you further up the level. So this means we're going to have to go back. Same story as usual. Just um, just go slowly so you know what's ahead. And um, you should be okay. 
if you try and if you try and rush this, you're likely to to run into things and jump into lava pits and whatever. So just take your time. And these guys as well, you can you can run into them as well. I nearly made a mistake there. Freaky guys, just waiting there. Yeah, this little guy um, makes things a little bit easier. Nearly there now, that track is nearly over. Once you get to the nest, um, there's these there's these boxes here, that box there actually, and that's the, that's it. I went a bit further just to make doubly sure, but that's the end of the backtracking. So now again, as usual, you just um, you just go through a level as you normally do, and you go ahead, get all the boxes, and get a couple more gems. Wasting time here. Just get everything as quickly as possible. A lot of slamming here. Obviously, because at this point you would have. Um, You'd be still fairly new to the whole slamming thing. <laughs> yeah, I kind of um, didn't move forward enough there. But yeah, obviously no real danger in the in the bonus level. You shouldn't be dying there at this stage of the game. And it's the final chase after this because I've done this chase a fair few times this, this one's a lot um, a lot easier than than the one in the, the gem section again you, you don't really need to sprint unless you, you're really confident you know where you're going he's not going to he's not going to catch you unless you like run into something where you just your controller disconnects or something nice and easy So there's two more now, we're coming towards the, the end now, there's not too many more left. Again I'm just checking to make sure there's nothing nothing else. Um, level 16 should be next. Yep. This is the, um, the blue gem path, once you get the blue one. You don't need to get any boxes here, it's just um, I've done so many time trials here, just so you feel, feel obligated to get the box. The only box that's really worth getting in this level is this set of four here, so you can get another mask. It's always nice when you don't have to get all of the boxes, you can just sort of make your way through the level quickly and you don't have to bother with um, bonus levels and all that kind of stuff. So. And we're pretty much there now, just, um, just ahead of these boxes. I don't need the lives but I just like having them. Yeah, this is um this is the slippery section with all the the oil on the floor. So um, really, you should be kind of cautious here. But I like to kind of <coughs> slide a lot. Um, yeah, I like to slide through a lot because um, 
it stops you from doing things like that. If you notice, I didn't slide there and I died. So um, just slide to get through. Wow, I dodged those nicely. Yeah. There is a slight problem of hitting the roof sometimes, so make sure you don't try and double jump, otherwise you'll hit the roof and just fall straight down. But, I mean, slide jumping is, is pretty much the best way for me to get through here anyway, like that. So it's a an, it's an pretty easy clear jump. And you have the checkpoint anyway, in case you fail, so... You shouldn't be struggling. So that was nice and quick. And from one of the, the quickest levels, we're going to head to to one of the slowest, which is going to be um, gone tomorrow. This is going to be one of those ones, again, where we're going to have to go backwards and forwards. Very easy to, to make mistakes on this level as well. So I would um, I'd probably advise getting a couple of masks before you before you take this level on. That's the final one we're going to get, but, but first, level 21. Yeah, um, you're going to want to shoot this guy at the start, otherwise this happens. I mean, it looks like I was outside of his range there, but he's just a bastard, so he'll, he'll get you anyway. So just shoot him to, to make it safe. You're, gonna, you're not going to backtrack to these areas again, so you can just run past these guys. This guy, you can just sort of spin around him. You don't have to do anything. In fact, I, I've probably done that so much now that I'm not actually very good at dodging the bullets anymore. Because I just sort of run around them now. So... Just shoot for fun. Yeah, you're going to... Um, as you can see, there's a few boxes there that aren't filled in. You're going to have to backtrack to those. So as of as of this point, you're going to be backtracking. So you're going to want to take out everything. Um, don't bother with any of the exclamation marks here. There's the, you're going to come back here anyway. You can deal with it then. Just keep going. Look at the HD remastering that's going on these days. I wouldn't mind a HD remaster of this game as well. It'd be quite nice. Especially for these kind of levels. Again, we're going to be coming back through here after we've backtracked, so I wouldn't leave any enemies. Just take them all out. Ignore these boxes here, because um, if you notice, there's two boxes at the bottom there, and you're not going to be able to get them unless you ignore those boxes the first time. Obviously you want all the boxes in the level, so you have to do the bonus. It's pretty long and annoying bonus, you have to keep jumping back and shooting things. And the fruit getting away and whatever. But yeah, just um, after you do this, you're going to come up to the, the green platform. I go ahead a little bit further just to take out a few the, a few extra enemies as further ahead. Yeah, I wasn't going to jump onto that thing there because I was scared it was going to open up, so I decided to shoot it instead. And there it is, there's the platform that you're looking for. Like I said, I just go ahead a little bit. And just, just to this section here. I mean, as you can see, there's there's a lot of um, enemies and lasers and everything. So um, if, you're, if you're struggling with this level, I'd, I'd advise you to get a couple of masks going before you, before you get here.
yeah this um this green platform section is it, not it's not too bad again again you can just go straight around this guy there's no threat I think he's a, he's a bit out of range so I'm gonna have to get to the middle part before I shoot him and there we go it's pretty quick and easy it's just the um, the backtracking that's gonna take a bit of time and, and care so yeah um, you're gonna have to I should have um, got that exclamation mark box nearest to me first before I went back here. I kind of forgot that I hadn't unlocked these yet. But yeah, these haven't been unlocked, so just go and uh, get these three exclamation marks first. And that's going to unlock all of the boxes that you need. Okay. Yeah, this jump here is a little bit difficult, so I I jump up high in the air and then sort of hover a little bit so you make sure you land on the middle platform. Get those four and that's it. So from here on you, you go forwards. You don't need to track back. And obviously, um, like in Future Frenzy, I've cleared out all of the enemies beforehand, so it's going to make going through the rest of the level a lot easier. Okay, um, for this bit, obviously the reason why you don't destroy those boxes beforehand is you need that TNT to block two boxes that are now unlocked. Don't go off the screen either, otherwise they won't blow up. Make sure the TNT is in your screen when it blows up. But I mean that's that's basically the the final sort of main obstacle. After that, the rest of the level is fairly easy. You're pretty much near the end anyway. Like I said, with those um, big robots that fire the missiles, the one at the end, I don't think you can um, you can sort of jump around him so you have to actually dodge the bullets and I almost got hit like on the last missile and I probably would have just just given up if that had happened I just tried recording another day but I just about managed to get through like I said I haven't dodged these bullets properly in so long I've kind of got really bad to you see they're just about but yeah that's the that's the penultimate clear gem So two more. And now the final one, the one that brings them all together, is obviously um, going to be level 25, Bug Light. Just to make sure. Yeah. Basically um, you can't get the, the second clear gem on this level until you've got all of the, the coloured gems first, because there's multiple platforms here. Um, as you're going to see, I went back to, to get a couple of masks again, but I've kind of realised afterwards that this is pointless because if you just go a tiny bit ahead, you can get masks anyway, so don't bother doing that. You can come into this level without any masks. All of this stuff again is, is fairly easy, I mean. This is another level that I like to time trial, so I kind of I know where I'm going here as well. So there's the there's the blue platform. That's that's the first one you're going to be going on. But if you continue on up slowly, if you don't have any masks, just just go here and get the two that you need, and get the the checkpoint box as well. And um, once you have that, even if even if you still die with the two masks then you can always just come back and keep trying it until you get it right. I think I lose one of the masks here, but I mean, it's, it's not too bad. For this first section, you pretty much just sprint through. If, you, if you're sprinting, those um, 
those traps shouldn't hit you, other than that time. I don't know what more I could have done there. I was going as fast as I could. Yeah. This section, I just stick to the wall, pretty much. Very, very easy. Um, this one is uh, it's all about timing, really. No, nothing, nothing special. Just um, don't spend too much time here, like I did. I nearly fell off. Here, just wait at the end. Wait for him to come to you, and then just knock him off. Again, those ones are going to fall, so be careful. But as you can see, it's fairly plain sailing. This section again is a lot of these um, spiked guys. Just run around them. Nothing difficult. Nice glowing red platform. Which is the final one. And there's your final clear gem. So, um, that's pretty much everything done. Um, I'm at 99% now, if I remember correctly. So all that remains is um, is five more relics that I need to get, which are the ones from the, the secret warp room. And uh, the secret levels at the end, 31 and 32. But I haven't shown you the, the 25 that I needed to get to get to this um, stage. So the next video is basically going to be a video of me getting all 32 of the, of the relics in platinum, hopefully. So it's going to be pretty tough. So it might take a while, but um, look forward to that. So thanks for watching.